Hi everyone, how's it going? Team here, and today I want to do a first impressions of Dead Cells. So I played it on a stream, if you might have seen on Twitch, but I think this game is actually so good it, it deserves a full fledged full impressions video. As you can see here, it's actually not recommended to play with a keyboard and mouse and recommended to play with a controller and you'll see why in a moment. And as you also can see in the bottom left corner, it's an early access game. But I must say that I don't know why they are in early access, because this game is so polished and I haven't encountered even one bug in like four hours of playtime. So let's jump right into it and I'll show you how it works and what exactly can you expect from it. Um, this is where we go. So I've played a few times now. I unlocked a bunch of things. Uh, for example, this is my gold from the last playthrough. I now retain 40% of what I had. Uh, this is a roguelite metroidvania. So whenever you die, you have to start everything from the beginning. But there is a way to obviously unlock things. Okay, so uh, the start room, uh, like the levels are uh, randomly generated but not entirely. So they are made from sort of the uh, random map, like random rooms basically, yeah? And uh, the starting of the game is pretty simple. So as you can see here, uh, you know, I'm killing enemies and there's some secrets and I found a carrot that restores health, which I don't really need. Um, okay, we got those guys with bombs. So the, the nature of the game is very straightforward. It's a platformer uh, or Metroidvania. We actually have to unlock some skills to progress further. Uh, let me pick up that gold. And uh, the thing is that this game has an incredible combat system, which is very, very fun to play. So um, not only does this game feature a bunch of uh, weapons and skills and some uh, very dumb and some very mean enemies as well. It's gonna kill that archer first. Ow, I forgot to dodge. But it also features a lot of nuance, like for example, if you have daggers, you actually have crit hits, which allow you to do stuff like backstabbing, which will do uh, way more damage than usual. Um, the way you progress in this game is basically dual. So first one, you can progress in your life. So in this, for example, if we pick up the scroll, we'll be able to choose one of three uh, things that we can upgrade. It's health, which will basically give you more health which is a strength. Um, this is the number that you can see above this X and Y that I have on my um, menu in the bottom left, which uh, denotes the strengths of the weapons and basically every bump increases the weapon damage. And then the skills, which uh, increases the skill damage, which I don't have any yet and reduces the cooldown. So I usually go for health first. Uh, and uh, this is like the first way to progress. This is the um, in-game way, let's put it this way. So uh, this only retains whenever you are um, alive, basically. Once you are dead, you will lose all of that. So I just used the skill to summon this wine, and this is a skill that I actually uh, did not have before. Let's dodge that. Uh, and I had to unlock by defeating one of the minor bosses on the future levels. Okay, we got ourselves a skill. So this is a skill, it's a bear trap, so we can throw it like this, and enemies who step on it will actually trigger it. As you can see, he, uh, skills do not have any limited uses or anything like that. They basically only have a cooldown. And obviously you can place only one trap at a time, but you know, there's like minor details. Okay, we got some teleports. This seems to be um, another thing that requires a skill to traverse. It seems to be like some sort of a teleport or whatever, which I did not find yet. I don't know. I, I even reached the first boss already, but I couldn't find that thing that is required to teleport. Okay, so, and then the game has a permanent progression system. So this was a level change, actually. We won't go there yet. That usually makes sense to explore the level, uh, you know, at least as much as you can reach because some areas you just simply cannot reach without um, having correct skills. So here we, we can pay a thousand gold to get a skill. I know that this is actually an um, ice grenade, which is extremely powerful. It... Uh, does a little damage, but it inflicts freeze, which stuns enemies for freezes, not just stuns, basically yeah, freezes enemies for uh, quite some time. And by using it correctly, you can dominate just about anyone. And this we get a merchant. Again, all of this stuff is only for this playthrough. So there's amulets that give you um, stuff, you know, like this one gives you gold when you pick up this dead cells. Uh, you can see that I have seven of them. I'll talk about them in a minute. And there's a horizontal turret, it's a skill, it's a placeable turret that you can just throw on the ground and will shoot enemies. Then we got some daggers, as I said, 
So you can see the daggers have two damages. So 172 is a normal damage and 254 is a critical damage, which is again something that you do from backstab. Uh, and this is a damage buff uh, against skill. So you use it just to get a plain damage buff, which is, I mean, it's okay. I don't know. I uh, There's definitely better skills than this. Okay, we got a flashbang. You can only carry two skills at a time, but I think flashbang is way more uh, useful than the... Um, Beer trap, at least I found it more useful. Uh, sometimes you find the scrolls that don't have a choice, so you will get whatever they actually give you. Oh, we got that guy. And let me show you the stun. There we go. So yeah, basically I just stunned them and then I was able to kill them off. Ow, I forgot to dodge. God damn it. So um, the thing in this game is that if you forget to dodge, if you don't dodge properly, if you don't um, mitigate the enemy attacks in some way, I mean, you can either dodge or block like this. Ow. Yes, let, let us do it correctly. There you go. So if you block, you will either bounce the projectiles off or completely negate the damage. Um, but, you know, it, it requires correct timing. It's basically like parrying in, in Souls games. Um, it is quite hard to pull off. Um, you do have a healing potion that you can unlock permanently. Again, I will talk about that once we finish the game. So let's drink it now. You can. I have uh, two uses now. You start with like one use. Let's dodge that guy. Throw in a freezing bomb and just murder him. There we go. So, the thing about this game is that this combat feels incredibly tight. It's like I, I don't think I had it even one time when I felt like I was you know, dying because something screwed me over. It feels fair, like Dark Souls fair. Okay, we got another weapon, which is a bow. So you can literally shoot arrows. Um, they do, they like, they did not fly all the time. So they will go down after some um, meters. But I think we cannot see that actually. So you cannot like shoot through half of the map and kill anyone. Although the range is quite, you know, quite big. Let's kill that guy. So those things that I collect is called dead cells, right? So this is the name of the game and this is exactly what your task is to collect as much as you can. Okay, let's, yes, you please freeze and die. There you go. Okay, and once you collect them and then once you go to another area, so this, you know, because I unlocked the new skill, I can now actually pick two different areas to go to. And I know that the sewers are actually very tough, so I don't think I have enough gear to go there now. So we're going to go to this promenade of the condemned, which is the second area that I cleaned to get the, to get the skill. So when you traverse the area, you get to this uh, hub area where you have this little guy here. And here you can spend those cells to unlock things and upgrade things, right? So here, for example, I am now uh, putting them into this phaser upgrade. And as you can see here, you know, I bought the healing potion one, healing potion two. I bought this gold recovery skill, which leaves me with more gold. And, you know, uh, they, are, they do increase in, in price quite significantly. So you start with uh, most of them are like 10. And then the more you unlock, the more they actually cost. So I'm trying to go for phaser because that sounds fun. Um, most of those, like after you unlock the skill are just like upgrades but I guess you do need them uh, to go. I'm now trying to get one more unlock, which is this phaser skill, because then I can upgrade this um, random melee. So I, I basically I can get this random melee weapon. I can get random starter bow and random starter shield, which means I will have a chance on the very start to have a very good item from the very beginning, which is, you know, very good. Uh, and I think that's gonna make game a lot easier. So once you spend all your cells, you can go over here and fill out your uh, potions and your uh, health if you have lost any. And then you continue to the next level. And this is basically how the game goes, you know, as long as you can survive and as long as you can get to the next area, you kind of should be good. But the areas do get progressively harder and um, all of the areas have different enemies. So like, for example, here's those bloody bats that always murderate me. Nope, I missed that. Nope, nope, god damn it. You know what? No, screw you. There you go, have some bomb. I usually tend to murderate them with bombs. There we go. Because they, they don't have a, lo a lot of health, but it's very hard to hit them with a dagger or anything like this, you know, because they're kind of flying around. And the only way to attack is actually forward. So you don't have like aiming or anything. You can only shoot forward and only attack forward, unless the weapon is something like a whip that has an um, auto-aiming uh, system or something along those lines, you know. Okay, we got another scroll of power. Let's go for some more health and let's go down here and see what we actually have here. Um, 
That seems to be a... Ch no, it's a merchant. Okay, I don't have enough money for that, so let's go back up. You can use teleports to quickly traverse levels, so sometimes, you know, once you unlock them, you don't really have to walk all the way back, which is a nice addition, I think, you know. Um, I, no, I, that's the wrong button. There we go. Okay, this guy is gonna jump on me, and now you're gonna die. Thank you very much. So this, this starter... Um, starter... Uh, what do you call it? Starter sword, I want to say. Yes, this is the word I'm looking for. Is not a very great weapon, and you know, it takes a lot of hits to kill anyone with it, really. But um, hopefully, we're gonna find something better in a bit or die terribly to the spikes because I am terrible at jumping over that stuff. So, this is, yeah, this, this level includes a lot of spikes, and uh, you have to be careful not to jump on them. Okay, we are good so far. Uh, what do we have here? Anything good. We got actually all sewers. So I don't want to go to sewers once again because it's a, one of the harder areas. So we're going to continue forward and see what we can find here and try not to get on spikes. There we go. That's some grenades up here. Okay, cool. So the, you know, the levels get progressively harder, obviously, but um, the rewards also get better and you can collect more cells. And uh, let's blow this thing up. Okay, we actually got Twin Daggers, so I'm going to replace my Rusty Sword with that, because it's way better. And now I'm going to show you one of the game mechanics, hopefully without dying. So, if I dodge behind those guys... Uh, no, that, that didn't actually work. Uh, let me try that again. There, okay. There you go. That was a critical hit, and I was able to one-shot him, essentially. So, if you are... I mean, it, I'm not saying it's easy to pull off, but if you manage to do that... You can actually kill them, uh, not instantaneously, but very, very fast. But it takes quite a lot of skill to actually do that. And, you know, I'm relatively terrible about that. Okay, here are those doors that require you to basically speedrun the level. So that should, that basically closes after three minutes of the game start. As you can see, the game counter is like on the bottom right corner near the map. And I wasn't able to reach one without like uh, it closing even once, I think kill that guy uh, we're gonna get some power it's actually a lot of upgrades this time around so this is always good to see and there we go a bit of backstabbing and we got another power skill okay that, that is level four skill stuff oh god we got a light here that's not very good yep and we're gonna backstab you there we go it actually it actually went way better than i expected and we got a golden amulet that Reduces damage and drops a bomb when I roll. Ooh, that sounds powerful as hell, actually. Yeah, I have, have some of that. And we got a, another guy over here. Okay. My damage is insane right now. You know what? Nope, nope, nope. Let's first kill that thing. And... Ah, God damn it! I'm, I'm missing everything. Oh, no. That is two hits, three hits. Okay, they are not damaging me too much yet at least um now let us not die on the spikes ow <laughs> there we go some amulets grant you like triple jump other amulets grant you stuff like gold from uh, monster hits or you know something along those lines uh, there is an amulet that grants you an extra life there are cursed chests there are normal chests there's like a ton of content in this game i like as i said i don't know why it's in early access <laughs> honestly um it is Pretty cheap game, so you can pick it up for $15 or your original equivalent. God damn it, I did not use the spikes. That was dumb. Okay, jump down. No, jump down. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna break that gate. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, um, you can pick it up for like $15. Um, I think you can get it even cheaper if you buy on something like... Ah, god damn it. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna drink a potion. If you buy it on like Humble Bundle and you're a Humble Monthly subscriber, they give you extra 10 off, uh, so it's it's a bit cheaper. And in my opinion, it's absolutely like if you like games like this, it's absolutely worth it. And I should use backstab more and rolling more. Okay, we got a bunch of assholes over here and a shield generator. There you go. Because combat feels so amazing, it's kind of oh god, incredible. God. And I'm absolutely terrible at it as well. Yes. No, stupid bad. Okay, let's try to go through here and see what we actually can find there. Ah, this way is not too hard. Um, there you go. So, what is this? This is a chest, normal one, not cursed one. Seems like there's only one curse at the moment, actually, which basically 
if you kill 10 enemies, the curse is lifted. If not, you are one shotted. So you basically have to kill 10 enemies without getting one shotted, which is very hard to pull off. Okay, we got a throwing knife, which causes bleeding and gives you plus 20 damage. So I think I'm gonna swap the. Um, uh, this is 100 basically damage over two seconds and automatically attacks the target, uh, the closest enemy. So I think I'm gonna go for that. And uh, because, you know, auto targeting weapons are kind of powerful. And no, I'm not gonna go through there. I'm just gonna use a teleport because screw that. No, no. Okay, let's see. What do we have? Uh, nope. Come on, get your bloody shield off. Okay, I think we need to kill that thing first. There we go. Nope. Have some bleeding. There we go. Bleeding does stack, so you can very effectively kill a bunch of enemies if you do it correctly. And then again, you know, correctly comboing all that stuff feels also very rewarding. So if you're if you're good at this, you're gonna feel very good about yourself. <laughs> I'm generally terrible, so you know. We actually made it through the level, which is kind of cool. There is an um, area on the right side which requires the teleport skill that I don't have yet that I feel you can unlock for something. There seems to be something there, but yeah. Uh, but this is essentially how the game works. So we can unlock this phaser thing, and once you unlock it, you will actually receive um, the skill. And 75, okay, you know what? I'm still gonna go for it because I need it. I need a better weapon at the very start, okay. You teleport behind a nearest enemy, the damage of her next attack. So basically you can combo this with a backstab and this is gonna be immensely powerful. So not only you will have a backstab damage, which is like already doubled, you will also have 150% increase from your skill. So we're gonna try that. And I think after that, we're gonna wrap the um, video up. Again, I am enjoying this a lot. And you know, if you like platformers and if you like good combat, definitely do have a look at it. Um, I think RPS said that it, this is a Soulsvania, which is uh, quite close to what it actually does. If you're the, into this kind of games, definitely do have a look. Um, okay, God damn it! I pressed the wrong button. Okay, the skill cooldown is actually quite low, so you can use it very frequently. This is the level that has those bloody wizards. There we go. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, that works very effectively. Ow. There you go. Nope. Ow. God damn it. Okay, this is not, I guess, not close enough. There we go. Man, that skill is incredible. Alright. <laughs> that is too much fun. Uh, so, yeah, regarding to early access, the devs are saying that basically they want to add more content and the price will rise uh, the longer they are in early access. Okay, come on, I want to hit those assholes over there. Uh, come on, come here. Have some of that. And yes. Nope. Come on, just die already. There we go. Uh, so yeah, they, they want to add more content, more bosses. I think there's currently two bosses in the game. There we go. Oh, God, stupid wizards that shoot through walls. Okay, come on, come on, come on, we can reach them. Uh, nope, that is still far away. There we go, that's one. That's an archer. Use that thing, go up to them and murder them. Thank you very much. There we go. Ow, God damn it, stupid thing, why do you attack me? Okay, we got a better knife. This throwing knife three. No, it's exactly the same. Oh, okay, we got plus three ammo and the other one pierces enemies. I think I'm gonna take for go for piercing and we can maybe drink a potion here. But yeah, this is Dead Cells. It is available on Steam Early Access right now. It is damn amazing and you should definitely have a look at it. Um, and we got another chest. Uh, this run is very lucky. We got a fire grenade. Um, I want to swap my phaser and I want to swap my freezing grenade as well. It's like 95 damage per second for three. That is a lot of damage. Plus 100 damage on burst. So that means that's... Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. Freeze effect. Wait. Enemies explode and... Oh, yeah, I'm going to take that. That looks like... So the items, as you might imagine, are randomly generated. And, you know, there's some crazy combinations going on. And devs are adding more. So this game is freaking amazing. Do have a look at it. <laughs> have a grenade but yeah let's wrap it up here thank you for watching and as usually i see you next time bye